Hi there, I am Sharad Chandravi. Welcome back to my ANSYS tutorial. In this video, I am going to solve simply supported beam with a uniformly distributed load. Look into the problem once. This is the simply supported beam of span 6 meter and uniformly distributed load of 12 kN per meter is acting along the length of 4 meters and Ings modulus is 2 into 10 power 11 Newton per meter square Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3 area of the cross beam is 0 0.1 meter into 0 0.1 meter this is the reaction solutions at point A and B at point A it is 32 kilo Newton and point B 16 kilo Newton this is the point of contraflexure the length of point of contraflexure from point A that is 2.66 meter. This is the shear force calculation and this is the bending moment calculation. Now let us solve this problem using ANSYS and let us check does the result in the ANSYS matches with the analytical solutions. Go to the ANSYS workbench, preferences, structural, H method, click OK, go to preprocessor element type add click on add beam to node 188 click ok close this and go to material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic give the Ings modulus to exponential 11 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.3 since all the dimensions are in mm keep all the dimension sorry all the dimensions are in meter only keep all the dimension in meters only close this now go to sections beam common sections and breadth is 0 0.1 meter and height is 0 0.1 meter click ok close this go to modeling create key points in active cs at origin create first key point 0, 0, 0, click apply and second key point is at a length of 4 meters click ok and the third key point is at a length of 6 meter and click ok now minimize this go to lines lines straight line from first key point to second key point second key point to third key point click ok now minimize this and go to machine in meshing select size controls manual size lines picket lines select both the lines click ok give the number of element division as 50 click ok now and minimize this go to mesh tool select mesh select both the lines and click ok now the element is meshed if you want to see the lines go to plot here and select lines because while applying the uniformly distributed load we have to apply up to this point only that is up to the second key point so now go to loads select define load and then apply load structural displacement on key points first and third key point it is fixed in ux uy uz and rotation x rotation y only because as it is a simply supported beam you should set free rotation along z axis and arrest all remaining degrees all degrees of freedom and click ok now minimize this go to pressure scroll this down select on beam now you have to select box here and starting from here draw the box up to this element and zoom it by scrolling upwards and make sure that the last element here is selected 
again scroll back to zoom out and click ok now and load key give the value as 2 and pressure value at the node i and node j for both this give 12 as the udl is 12 kilo newton per meter give the value as 12 and 12 click ok now you can see that udl is distributed along the length of 4 meter and the element size here is the number of element division is 50 divisions and minimize this now load is applied go to solution solve current ls click ok now the solution is done you can see the result now go to post processor and create the element tables first element table define table and scroll this down by sequence number SMISC3 apply again 6 apply again scroll this down and select this and give value as 16 apply scroll this down and give value as 19 click ok as we are giving this to see the shear force and bending moment diagram the combination of 3 and 16 gives bending moment diagram and 6 and 19 combination gives shear force diagram and close this now now go to plot result contour plot line element result 3 and 16 combination gives us bending moment diagram select 3 here and 16 here and click ok so this is the bending moment diagram and similarly if you want to see shear force diagram SMIS 6 and 19 click ok this is the shear force diagram and this point is called point of contraflexure at this point the shear force diagram changes its sign from positive to negative and its length is 2.66 meter as we are calculated in the analytical solution now minimize this and if you want to see the reaction forces now go to list results reaction solution all items select the all items and click ok see this is the reaction forces that is 16 kN and 32 kN which is same as the analytical solution 32 kN 16 kN now close this now if you want to see the stress again select plot result contour plot nodal solution stress here and scroll this and select one minus stress and click ok and now if you want to see the deformation in three dimensional view uh, select this isometric view glow to plot control style size and shape display of element on click ok this is the 3d element and select the front view and animate this go to plot control animate deformed shape if you want to see only deformed shape then select deformed shape here you can change the time that is for one second one frame or one step is shown so give one here value and click ok now you can see 10 steps per second so you can stop it now thank you for watching my video if you find this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any suggestion please feel free to comment thank you for watching mm -hmm.